What's going on guys? Welcome back to Goshen's Games and today this morning we had a brand new update regarding the SAO mobile game that is coming out that was previously known as Sword Art Online Alicization Braiding or Blading whatever you wanted to call it but now we have the official title for that game as well as a a bunch of new videos, an update to the website, and the official Twitter page for this game. So, make sure you hit the like button, subscribe if you guys are new, and let's talk about Alicization Rising Steel. I said Rising Blade before, it's Rising Steel. Alright guys, so as I mentioned, this is the official Twitter page for... SAO Rising Steel. It is a story that takes place during the Alicization arc, but it's a a new version of the story. So I guess game verse part two, like a different type of game verse of it. On top of that, we have a lot of information regarding pre-registration details. We have uh, gameplay footage and just a whole bunch of different stuff. I'll go ahead and I'll leave a link to the Twitter page for you guys to check out for yourself down below in the description. Let's take a look at this first video that they put up regarding the game itself. So pre-register now by following the Twitter page and let's go ahead and watch this video. Let me go back here. And it's for some reason it's loading, but while it's doing that, Set in the ever-expanding virtual reality known as the Underworld. Come on now. My internet is being extremely slow today. Could not be played. Oh, there you go. Okay. Black Swordsman Kirito forges his destiny once more. New memories will be created. New episode... Here, hold on, hold on. New episodes... From series creator Reiki Kawahara, link to the story from the light novels. So there's new episodes within this game that I guess is going to be filler for some of the missing gaps, maybe? Analysisation tale told from a new perspective. Now a new person holds the key... what did that say? Holds the key to the tale. Which I think is the new character that we saw previously. So that's how battle will look in this in this new game. Sort of. All right, so the game itself looks very clean. Now, let's go, in, let's go back a little bit. This right here, I believe, is the new character that they were talking about that's being added into the game uh, Licorice. So that would be cool if, that's, if they're implementing that. Now, here's, here's the... Here are my thoughts on it. Okay, before we look at the other things, it looks super clean. It looks good. We're going to take a look at the website in a moment, and you guys are going to see why I'm actually a little bit more excited for this because it feels more like a traditional RPG. And that has that, that gives me a good vibe when it comes to it moving forward. But there's something that I that does bother me. So we'll get to that in a second here. Let's go ahead and click on over to the actual website. So this is the website. Let me make this a little bit smaller so it can fit. All right, so this is the actual website for you guys. Uh, that's not it, it's down here. There you go. Okay. Now, on the website, there is a lot of information. You get to choose what language you want to view this in. So you can see all the different regions, I guess, that it's going to be releasing on. There, it looks like they're going to be doing a worldwide global release, which is fantastic. None of that Japanese first, and then you get the global version of it. Um, going down for pre-registration, you get a Knight's Resolve Alice. And this is one of the problems that I have. 
Okay, and the reasons why I say it's a problem is because that leads me to believe that it's Gasha. And knowing Bandai, they're going to put a Gasha system into this because that's what they do. Bandai does that all the time. Um, and, and if you look at it, you have armor and weapons that have two stars on it. So it looks like the characters are probably Gasha and then the weapons you craft or however. And then another reason why I have a big feeling it's Gasha. Look at that currency, game currency, 25 diamonds. Well, fantastic. Another Gasha game. But hopefully the gameplay is actually good enough that we can maybe overlook that. But let's take a look more into detail about the different aspects of the game. So we already saw some of the gameplay footage. It says game system movie. We already saw that. And we saw the teaser movie as well. Now the teaser movie has been translated. So we can take a look at that to be able to see the actual translations. Because we weren't able to see that before. So we know who's talking. So this is Alice. For Eldry to lose like that. And then we have somebody else talking. To those sinners that you brought here. So... One of the one of the things that we had speculated was that Alice was talking to maybe her mentor, which that kind of sounds like it's the case. Uh, yes, but I did not think that they had such expertise. Hmm. Sounds interesting. Should I take a look? You cannot. For an integrity knight of your stature to bother with such a thing. I sense something is coming. I have butterflies just like the first time I met you. So again, that brings me back to speculating that it's her mentor that's talking. So that was the original trailer that dropped, but when it dropped the first time, it was under the uh, the, the pseudonym Blading or Braiding. So, scrolling down, Alice is Asian Rising Steel, a battle that connects noble spirits, a virtual world called the Underworld. A young man named Kirito awoke there one day. There he met a woodcutter named Yujio, as well as other residents of the Underworld. Those moments of connection and conflict would challenge the very rules that govern the world. Even though you're an AI, even though everything in this moment is simply generated by data, still, a certain warmth and pain linger in the heart. This is the story of the noble spirits of that world, the battles they fought, the lives they lived. So, going into this, there's more details on the battle system, which you can see on the website. I'll leave a link to the website for you guys to check out yourself. Battle, there are three skills hold, the three skills hold the keys to battle, use different skills to triumph in battle. So if we click on the details, we get to see a little bit more regarding the combat system. So it looks like there are special moves that you get to do, and you can skip the special moves if you don't want to watch the animations. Going down here, this is why I say that it feels a little bit more like a traditional RPG. So if you look at this, use three types of skills, A, B, and C. So, this, so every character has three different types of skills. In this case, you see Alice right here. She has an assault skill, which I'm assuming is like um, it, it's a physical attack or whatever. You have a break skill, which I'm guessing if the enemy's guarding, you can go ahead and use that. And then you have a buff skill. Now, each skill takes MP. You also have your basic attack and you have your defense. So there's a lot of stuff here. You have It looks like you can have up to a party of four members. And then on the left side would be the, your enemies. And on top, it shows the order of which your characters will go so kind of like um what's a good uh good way to look at this so if you're playing like if those guys those of you guys who played maybe uh atelier games like atelier ryza is coming up or atelier lulua um any of the atelier games recent like ps3 era and on they do their turns like this uh, there's a bunch of other games that do their turn-based combat in a similar aspect. So your speed normally determines how many attacks you get, how many how many times your character will go. Um, I'm hoping that they do something very similar to that. The graphics themselves look very stunning. Like I, I like the graphics. It looks like the anime. Um, I'm hoping the combat is very fluid. I'm hoping that it doesn't uh, doesn't drag out in any 
weird way or that uh, doesn't have a lot of glitching or nothing like that. Like, oh, I hope that it, everything looks really well done and looks very smooth. There's an auto configuration button as well, just like they usually do. Uh, deal massive damage using your incarnate skill. So down here, it's your incarnate meter. So when it gets to 100%, you get to unleash your incarnate skill, which would be your ultimate attack. So that's that's great i i like that a lot that means that every character will have their own and every character will be somewhat different um switch combinations you can do switch skills as well which is really cool like i'm glad that that's a thing in the game this game looks like it will be a lot of fun to play and i can't wait to get my hands on it um, currently we don't have details of when it's going to release but it will be a worldwide release. I'm hoping that it's very soon. I'm hoping that it releases in September, and that's why they are promoting it now. Uh, it would only make sense as the anime is coming back in October, so what better way to hype it up than to go ahead and release this game in September leading up to the release of the anime. I think it'd be a lot of fun, and looking at this, like the, the genre RPG that connects noble spirits available on App Store and Google Play free to download. You can go ahead and pre-register. Um, I think if you log into your Play Store or your App Store, you should be able to do so. I'm actually going to check it out right now for myself. Let me go here to Play Store. And let's see. Sword Art Online. And let's see if it shows up. Uh, currently does not show up. So I'm guessing you can only pre-register through here, through Twitter. And then maybe you have to link your account through Facebook and Twitter. Okay. So app, app store, Google play coming soon. So it's not available yet. So you want to pre uh, pre-register, you can pre-register on Facebook and Twitter and go from there. So that's. That's going to be it for the video, guys. Um, let me know how you feel about this. I mean, I'm I'm somewhat excited for this game. I, I, I don't like that it's going to be gacha. But well, you know what? If the gameplay is going to be fun, I can look past that. That is my biggest thing. If the gameplay is fun and if it's, well, if it's done well enough that you can stay free to play and not have to worry about keeping up with like the newest characters or whatever, then I'm, I'm sold. So with that, guys, let me know down with, down in the comment section how you feel about this game. Are you excited for it? Does it look good? I think it looks good. Let me know your comments, your feelings, and your thoughts down below. Hit the like button. Subscribe if you guys are new. And I'll catch you all later. You guys have a great rest of your day. Stay cool, guys.